Before we start the video, I'd like to shout out Logger.com for sponsoring this video. They have an awesome site where you can buy a bunch of in-game currency and items, including all your favorite Rocket League items. Also, make sure you use code DOLBOBS to get an easy 6% off your orders. Check out the site, there's a link in the description. But for now, enjoy the video. Yo, what's going on guys, Dilbobs here, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Now, in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how you can actually get Golden Lanterns, but not just Golden Lanterns, other event crates, because I know a lot of you might have already gotten your Golden Lanterns by now, but you do realize that every time events like the Lucky Lantern events come out, there is these kind of golden crates so we have anniversary update bringing out the golden eggs we have the golden gifts at christmas we have the golden pumpkins at halloween and this works for all of them so keep this idea in mind when those events come out you can get the first golden crates out there before anyone else and then you can sell them if you want to for a really really high price or you can open them and maybe be the first ever person to get a forest green sub-zero so anyway guys, uh, without further ado, uh, let's get into this video. Now, getting these golden lanterns is actually a lot of work because you have to play 20 whole online matches just to get one. Now that is a very, very long time. 20 online matches, five minutes each. You've got to think of all the goals in between, the queue time, you know, all of that. It's going to take a very, very, very long time to get all five of these golden lanterns. Well, there's a really quick way to you know speed it up and get these things about three or four times faster than you'd normally get them and there's also a lot of other ways to enhance it so what you want to do is jump into casual 1v1s this is the first method once you're in casual 1v1s you can forfeit the match at exactly three minutes 30 left on the timer this will actually count as you playing a whole online game and it's casual it's crazy. It's a casual game where you can forfeit. I mean, you lose casual MMR, but does anyone really care about their casual MMR? Now, I know some people will because, you know, you want to have fun in casual, but realistically, you're only going to lose a little bit of MMR. You're in casual. If, you know, you start going against easy opponents in the future in casual, just beat them again and you'll get straight back up. And the best thing is, by also completing all these online matches really quickly in only 90 seconds you'll also complete your weekly challenges which is to play 20 online matches for 20k xp and you'll be getting loads of xp at the same time as doing this so that's the main way that you can get these crates really really quick as soon as the update drops but there are quicker methods for people who have more than one account so on rocket league you can get more than one account however if you do get a bunch of smurf accounts essentially you do have to spend 500 credits or buy 500 credits i believe in order to actually trade so it will cost you a bit but i suppose if you do buy 500 credits it's not like you lose them you still have them so you're not exactly losing anything you're just getting 500 more credits but if you do have multiple accounts if you're on pc you can just do this method on multiple accounts however if you're on some kind of console you can actually play split screen with your own account and then jump into some kind of ranked mode that you don't mind throwing with on your Smurf account. So let's say I have three Smurf accounts on PlayStation. All I need is to create a party, join with all three of those players, make sure you've got three controllers, and then join a, it has to be ranked this time, a ranked threes game mode. Now you could do you know actual rank threes or if you don't want to do threes you could maybe do rumble things like that but these accounts are primarily going to be used just to farm things like that so it doesn't really matter what your rank is i suppose and then what you do is you just forfeit again after 90 seconds but now you have all three of your accounts that are now earning one golden crate every 20 games that you play so you're actually getting three every 20 games and each game is only 90 seconds so there you go now you're running them at even faster rate so guys i know not all of you will have multiple accounts but i want to make sure that people who do have multiple accounts or even just friends who you know you can split screen with or even friends that you can play with you can go into ranked matches and you know forfeit after 90 seconds only if you want to you know if you're okay with losing that kind of mmr for getting these if it's worth it to you but yeah that is something you can do and actually there was someone who commented on one of my videos who said that they got so many golden crates because they had loads of accounts all playing split screen so shout out to you dude honestly that is some serious effort anyway guys hopefully you understood what i'm saying here and yeah i just love seeing everybody go crazy for these golden crates it's so awesome the amount of hype there is to it and if you guys do want to watch a golden crate opening i have one on the channel but obviously that's up to you 
But I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know in the comments how many golden crates you have so far. And what's the best item you got if you open them. But that's it guys. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.